Hey, there we are. I'm making that because you see this going up and down. Can somebody? Can everybody hear us now? No, they are reverting. It's sort of. Hey, there we are. Jesus. That's fun. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do something. What about now? Give me. Give me. No, so Okay, wait, wait. Is it because you're over here and too close to those microphones? The only thing that was different was that. Okay, hold on. The sound is probably back, but it's going to probably be weird. Um, no? No, we're not back in. Still weird. Or is it scarily wobbly noises? <laughs> uh, I mean, I updated this thing once. Okay, let's do it circuit 1912 with, with uh, cards. Okay.
Let's try and <laughs> is it, we're not getting any better. This is great. I like it. Thank you all for stay, staying on and we'll see. Wait. Something happened? Stop. What am I I'm doing? Stop. Yes. Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. What happened? We can see you. <laughs> Cooper. Sorry, I was just in the basement, right? Come up. Uh, uh, that was fun. So, uh, if anybody knows how to do sound making, we're taking suggestions here to sound which we Welcome, everybody. Um, Verbing, warbing, warbling. Your mic is falling into your shirt. <laughs> okay, now it's just fuzzy. <laughs> okay. Uh, how are we doing, Scratchy. Everybody? Ow, the scratches. Better? Better? Worse? All right, whatever. We're going. We're going. Oh, yeah, it was scratchy. Probably because it was on my shirt. We're looking, we've got like people listening over the phone. I don't know what's happening. Like, don't have to be I don't know. It's so, it's like. We know how to do things. And now they're getting double scratch because. Oh, nearby. Sorry. I'm hearing my phone. Still scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Hello? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do that. Gotta be uh, echoey. What did you unplug? Um, Your mic? Yeah, I plugged my mic. Obviously, not working. Yeah, it's not scratchy anymore. Okay, so we're moving this one closer to you. Well, I think it just gets it's echoey. This one's echoey? No. Okay. okay so yeah. we're this one closer There's to something you. going on. I don't know. This was a relatively cheap lap mic, so. Okay, whatever. Here we are. Okay, okay my mic is off. There's something. We have something in the middle here. Oh, that's much better than moving it closer to us. Okay. Whatever. Here we are. We're making corn salad after all I've got. Turn your off. Oh, yeah. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> all right. How many of these have we done? 164. <laughs> Thanks for coming. It's Saturday. We love you. Uh, so, we're doing a... As I was saying before you couldn't hear me, uh, where vegetables are starting to be ready to be picked in your garden and things like corn, 
and tomatoes and herbs and cucumbers and even onions, which you should have picked already, are ready to go. So what are you going to do with them? Um, we're going to make a corn salad. And it's very easy to put together, but we're also going to make a cocktail called the Fool's Gold, which is bourbon and lemon cello, which is an interesting combination. But um, we got... I don't know if anybody's heard of this. Uh, the hoises are in town, so they're here. Ted got this uh, Widow Jane, aged 10 years, American oak barrel uh, bourbon. It's from batch 431. It's bottle 435. Ooh, I like that. It's kind of serendipity. And it was made in 2021. So, ooh, 91 proof. Nice. Okay. Shit can't. So, uh, the limoncello has been in the freezer. And... We're going to make a cocktail. We're just going to make a cocktail because the, after that, we're traumatized. So who wants a cocktail? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah. I also would like one. <laughs> I'm going to just take a slug real quick. Uh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. Right. Calm the nerves. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. It burns just the right amount in the nostrils. Can you get the um, limoncello for me? You saw nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so this doesn't really have measurements other than two parts, three quarters parts, that kind of stuff. So, limoncello is best when cold. Just keep it in your freezer. It won't freeze. It'll get nice and frosty, though. Frosted. Ted, how would you describe this? The limoncello. He's going to describe it in the chat, but he's sitting right across me. Because I told him earlier that he would be sassing me in the chat and talking to me in the room, and he's decided that he's going to not talk to me in the room and just sass me in the chat, which is great. So, anyways... Three part or two parts, it should be three parts, but two parts bourbon. And I got fresh lemon juice, which is three quarters of parts, so three quarters of an ounce. Well, right? Yeah. How, how was your week? Uh, it was the first week of school at the university for me, so it was very busy. Um, so many things going on. And then. Now, then we have three day week. So. So it's lemon cello and lemon juice. Yeah. And then it is half part, so half. You know. Oh yeah, that's way more viscous than it was. And then simple syrup, which I just made, so I was cooling it. Wow, school so doesn't start until next week. Oh, after Labor Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, didn't you guys start after Labor Day before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to start the week before Labor Day. So you had like a week and then you had a three day weekend. It was awesome. Which is what, I mean, basically, that's what the university Wait, are you at it? Oh, simple syrup. Sorry, sorry. Half, I have a simple syrup. And then I shake. <laughs> Looking forward to his face retreating into his throat from the buffer. <laughs> Beefy, I'm so glad you're here. You know? No, that's Ping. Oh, Ping, I, I'm so glad. Well, I'm, I'm so glad both of you are here tonight. It, it, it softens the blow of not having sound. You, get, you guys are just used to it. So, <laughs> I hope everybody. Like I said, I hope everybody's having a good week. And like, we are. Uh, we're always so lucky. I have good friends in town and you know so i'm really excited it's been raining here which has been odd we usually don't get rain this time of year it's usually sunny but delightful it is the best and uh what else i was gonna say something else oh yeah the burners are all trapped oh yeah burning man is going out which is uh what an hour and a half north east of us something like that the black the black rock desert is and because of all the rain, the road to get to the Black Rock Desert has washed out. So there literally was a uh, like a National Weather Service like announcement that was like, all burners, please just hunker down. 
And ration food and water. Yeah, ration food and water. I mean, come on. So that's crazy to me. Um, so you just do a little lime juice on or lemon on the outside. And then it says to put a little, I'm going to do a little bruising of it, but it's a little sage in there. There you go, Ted. And now he'll tell you how it tastes in the chat. Aim, do you want one of these? Yeah. All right, cool. Who else would like, like one of these? Just uh, the three of us, or do you want one of these? I'm just going to have a second. Okay, perfect. Oh. Anyways, well, so we've been, we went to state sailing this morning and we got to do some picking, which is always fun when you go state sailing because you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> yep, yep, that's blue. These people have been, uh, our friends have been here for since yesterday and all day today he's just been barking at them anytime he forgets that they're here. So, which is a lot because he's stupid. <laughs> Bit sour. Well, well, that's too bad. From the additional lemon juice, you think? He'll tell you. Because you said the limoncello was super sweet, so it went over. Oh huh. So well, you do you think it needs more it simple syrup? No, it's with you, Ted. Seriously, this guy. <laughs> it's a bit too sour for him, but uh, what do you think? A little more simple syrup, maybe. Like a three quarters part instead of a half part. I don't know. <laughs> Kim's face definitely retreated. <laughs> All right, hold too on. sour. Let's, uh, let's, too much. Let's give Amy three quarters to see what she thinks. It's, you you want it want, you want it sweeter, Kevin? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Well, I gave it a little sweeter. Well, uh, what else? I mean, I'm looking forward to Monday and not having to do anything. I mean, I might work on the pizza oven unless it's really raining again, but that's all thing. We made a charcuterie board, or as Amy's charcuterie board says, a shark coochie board, which is. You're not. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. <laughs> you know, it's really good. Like I said, I think we, we talked about this, but uh, there's this dessert that we did at our, one of our favorite restaurants in Santa Rosa, California, that is a limoncello, like gelato, whatever. And it's, it's like frozen limoncello, lemon curd. It's and just the best. Not gelato, but... Oh, yeah, gelato. Yeah. Not sorbet. No. It's a pretty color. It is. I think it looks good. So, I'm going to pour myself a double if you don't mind. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I like it. Okay. We've got two we've got two That's, pucker faces. But you changed mine. Just, I gave like a half ounce or, or a quarter ounce more of the, of the simple syrup. So maybe that maybe that's what it, the next one you have, Ted. Well, that will be good. So forgot what I was doing. It's gonna be a long show, everybody. If I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Uh oh. I just took, put my tongue where the garnish was. Uh oh. That was too sour. I gotta tell you, your face didn't didn't scream <laughs> didn't scream like yeah, that's great. Keep, keep doing that. I like uh, I like limoncello. Our friends uh, Tony and Eric, they make their own limoncello. Yeah, that's why I said I like homemade. And they uh, they also make a strawberry cello. That, Which is so creepy because uh, all the red comes out of the strawberries. Yeah, like, so there's like white ghost berries in there. Yeah. It's not cool is what I'm saying. But it is tasty. It's so good. And we used to go over and play dominoes at their house and um, get chicken can and then walk home because they live not very far away. So it was pretty great. 
that's, that's where I learned to actually play real dominoes instead of, you know, just setting them up and thinking you played them in prison. Well, so this, I, I'm looking forward to the salad. And we got some flank steaks, right, Ted? And those are kind of getting their groove on with seasoning. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight, barbecued. And I get myself a cup. So uh, one thing there is a little pre pre kind of uh, you want to do. You don't have to do this, but you got to cook the corn. Well, you have to cook the corn, but you don't have to barbecue it. You could you could just boil it if you wanted to. I, I don't recommend it, but I would uh, cook it on the grill, which is what I did. Or if you're Ted, he turned it into charcoal briquettes. <laughs> on purpose? I don't know. What I told him. What happened not, out there? I, that I told him it? not to do it. And he did it. You can't be trusted. Why were you side eyeing me? <laughs> the jargon. The jargon was my. Yeah, mean, we joked earlier about having carcinogen salad instead of corn salad. So. Yeah, and he just decided to lean into that. So, all right, let's try this thing. It's pretty delightful, actually. I like the lemon. The bourbon really comes through. Yeah, it's great. I'm sure you can't drink, you know, five of them. You might be on your ass drinking 10 ounces of good bourbon. Is that a challenge? I mean, are you, challenging? you are in your own home. You can do what you want, but. Do what I want. Whatever. That's what I said. All right, so let's get on, what's the, let's get on with this. Because, again, it's just, we're just assembling it. I got to cut the sun in, but that's about it. All right. So this is an ink. Well, it's supposed to be a, uh, a an Asian cucumber, like a Japanese cucumber. We'll see, we're going to see if it has any uh, seeds in it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See, that's what it's supposed to look like on the inside. That's fine. Yeah. Didn't okay. it say it was seedless? Yeah. I don't think there's seeds in it. I don't know. What was? Nope. The there's a about? ton of seeds in here. <laughs> Show the camera. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, uh, that's bullshit. <laughs> Anyways. Take yeah. Take it back to the garden. Um, all right. So, what we need is we have one cucumber diced, but I'm going to supplement this one with a regular what cucumber. What did you just move? Oh, you, what, it was a juicer. Did you just move the juicer? I did. Why? He says, whatever that contraption was, the thing you just moved, it looks like the alien from the Aliens movie is going to jump up and implant a face hugger in you. Ah! Oh, it does. Ah! That is weird. Yeah. You know what? Now I can't unsee it. You know, you get suggested something and now you can't unsee it. So, anyways, uh, I've been, like I said, what? You've been having a good week, right, Ann? You had a great week. You had a substitute in second grade, right, on Friday and Thursday? I had a great week. I love my new school. It's amazing. Um, I sub two days in second grade. You know, those are my people, so I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. And the students are back on campus at the university. I've been really putting a lot of hours in. I'm the advi I mentioned this before, but I'm the advisor for the eSports Club, and so we've been... We had a, we have a big event next Saturday, which I'll be spending my whole Saturday at. So we won't actually be live next Saturday. We'll do have to do one either on Friday or Wednesday. What? I know, but I, I mean, I, it's done at six, so I could technically be back here by four. But we'll see. We might. I might. I might still do it. I'm trying to be supportive and and make sure that they're successful. So you know. We're not on a test what? Somebody said, don't you get demonetized oh, if you curse. I think on Twitch, but we're never gonna be we're never gonna be part of the Twitch partner program, I think. I think uh, I think DV is the only one watching over there and also commenting on YouTube. So I mean I am I enjoy and appreciate you uh, you know double dipping. It really really just strokes my ego more than anything. So I'm just giving these a quick dice, not anything like super small, but I want it, you want it to be able to meld in with the salad pretty good. So, what else has been going on? Um, Denise had to go back to the work in the office two days a week, and, which, yeah, it is uh, the big bit of bone of contention. So, anyways. 
Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, um, I, I realized I said last week that, you know, we have new TV coming up, but then I forgot that the writers and the actors are on strike, so that's not actually going to happen unless it's already been filmed. But um, what did, did we talk about that we went and saw the Barbie movie? Uh, I don't mm-hmm. probably I don't know because I wasn't here last week so I was in the ski. Well, you could. Did it hit the floor? Did it hit the floor? Nope. Mm-hmm. I stopped it. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, what I just did there, Ted? Come on, say what you're gonna say in the chat about what you think is going on because I already read your head. The strawberry limoncello is called. I'm probably gonna mispronounce this. <laughs> Fragalina, number F R A G E L I N A, and it will freeze because of the water content in the strawberries. Is that what Tony says? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, I was gonna say like, so this is four like, years. Four years of cold. Fragalina. That would be a nicer pronunciation than Fragalina. Sounds like something for Fraggle Rock. Fragile Lena, do you think that's right? I don't know. Do you saw it in French? Do you think that that's how you pronounce it? Um, so that's like I said. Thanks, that's, TV. You're probably right. That's four ears of corn that I that Ted burnt on the g- grill, and then uh, one what we would call full, maybe a little bit more than one cucumber, but who cares? Wait, what's this? I don't know. I have no idea. It was there, and then it, so I got. Why can we talk about red onions for a second? Because why are they always gigantor? You know what? I'm not. What, I'm gonna use the ones from the garden. I like that. Because why you know, are they so gigantic? They were not red that way. But look at this one. I grew this. Isn't that fancy? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I got We got to pick. Are there any tomatoes in this recipe? Yes. You should use your garden tomatoes because they are really cute. Look at that guy. Aww. I love it. It's like, I love his green hair. He has like really big hair. Yeah. <laughs> we can't see. What's tip, up? Him, tip him towards us. What's up? Tip his head towards us. What's up? Yeah. What's up, dudes? <laughs> Jester tomato. Yes. I love I mean, this, this this game of Ted only speaking through the chat while he's literally five feet less than five feet away from me is uh, that is a killer tomato. It's very fun. I'm I'm glad that you participated like this. Keep them nice and keep them forever. Trust uh, me, we let enough of our garden produce rot on the kitchen counter. One thing I am excited about. Yes, we do. But one thing busy. And on, and then it goes over. Well, one of the things I'm really excited for is that the Tabasco pepper plants that I uh, planted are um, really coming in. And so we'll have enough for making hot sauce and adding it to jalapeno jelly to give it a little, like I have a spicier version of that. But there's a crap load of jalapeno jelly. Uh, uh, no, nope, not growing jalapeno jelly. <laughs> give me that. <laughs> this is not an ad. But Ted, walked, Ted, for some reason, he bought this scorpion strength Tabasco sauce, and like I took a teeny tiny bit of it, and it is ridiculously hot. So no, I'm not gonna eat that thing that you just put it on there on camera. Here comes my my lovely assistant thing is bringing me something. So I'm gonna eat it because I uh, respect the the art of live media. Gus, get out of the kitchen. But. I'm not going to like it. I'm going to tell you that right now. And you're going to see me do, do this move. <laughs> so, bottoms up. Oh, it just burns as soon as it hits it. Oh. I mean, oh, God, the, pro- ah, the problem I have with it, I can see why hot, hot, hot Ones is so popular because it's just, oh, my God. Okay, this is good. This is actually good. It just kind of tastes burny. Like Ralph Wiggins says, it tastes like burning. <laughs> <laughs> and 
that's it. There's no flavor there. there. It's just I mean, hot. It does linger. It's it's hot. It's not hot on the back end, I think. It kind of lingers. Your throat? It lingers a little bit. And then it kind of hangs out. But it's not like it's like spreading everywhere. It's, you know, that's what I have a cocktail for. So. Mm. You know what I made the other night that I love? Is I made chicken fingers at home. And chicken fingers at home are so much better than like buying chicken fingers. So, I'm just putting that out. That's just a PSA from Side Tish. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not sure. The and on, I'm done. The only bad thing about them is that you have to fry them in oil to make them good. And then you have the oil fry and smell in your house. How do you, what do you do for when you fry, like, fish and stuff, Ted? Yep. Open I got a, a window. I've got to wait for the... I gotta, I gotta wait for Stephen Hawking to type his response into the fucking chat. Peanut oil. That cuts down on the fried food smell? That, that's what I mean. Like the fried sm- food smell. The problem is we have an open floor plan and so it just goes everywhere. That is a true story. What is happening? I don't know. Ted's pointing to your pan of oil and giggling. <laughs> Perfect. Also, don't leave it sitting there. It's probably going to be the answer. My mom swore by the... And throw out the oil within a few days. <laughs> That's, that was literally last night or yesterday, wasn't it? Still sitting there. <sighs> Whatever. You know what? Nobody asked you your business. <laughs> take that. And, you can take that. I mean, you literally asked. Him. Yeah, well, I didn't expect so. all, I did expect all the stats, but here we go. Yeah, um, you did. Do we have any? Uh, do you want? Do you want to do a food fight? A food fight. I want to create. A, I want to create. We a, had a list, and I cleaned it. I want to. Well, what one of the one of the food fights. One of the food fights was uh, mm. anchovies in Caesar salad. It's a must. I, it's a definite. It's We're salty. Yeah, it's delicious. A, and it's it is. What do you feel? What do you feel about that, ladies? Yes. yes. Jim says yes. Yeah. Denise says yes. Yes, of course. So, what, what do you guys think? What about y'all? Uh, uh, anchovies in Caesar salad dressing, uh, or thumb just up or thumb down? Yeah. First of all, don't ever give us a thumbs down. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I should tell him here. If I if I said like can subscribe as they say no fish. Why? You got to get that great saltiness salty. and delicious. And if you do it right, it just blends away. I have a really good. It literally just melts into it. I, I think I may have lied. Are you okay? I've What's not happening? touched my eye or anything, but I feel like it's moved into my eye and now I'm doing this with. <laughs> okay. I want to. Well, I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and really remember to do this. <laughs> but there was a video that is basically. The <laughs> You my salad. That we watched yesterday. It was an Instagram reel, I think, and and it was basically these people eating super sour, like Sour Patch Kids or, or sweet tarts or whatever. But basically, they just amped up the citric acid in it. And this <laughs> this video is ridiculously that good. That girl's face immediately one of her eyes seriously shut. it was like a Popeye she looked like it's so she looked like Popeye she was like like I can't even do it like her it was like this it was like this well the other one was like this and she was like <laughs> oh man it was so good anchovies and Caesar salad Ted Ted says yes too see we're full we're full agreement here at Ben Bookend that we should have that in our salad. So, how about Miracle Whip in your double legs? Oh my god! <laughs> no, she just says no. Well, this is the whole premise of food fight. That is either stroking out, or he needs a whisk, or he can't decide about Miracle Whip in his double legs. What is it that? Pops. You were going like this. Why can't you just use those ones? You can come around. You won't be on camera. And even if you are, I mean, are you are you wanted by the police? 
Is Interpol after you? You are an international traveler. I mean, maybe. I mean, I will I will gladly split whatever reward is for you once you get out of prison. Also, we were having Ted and I were having this discussion. They got into our house at like what, eleven forty-five ish? And then Ted and I stayed up drinking until uh, 3 a.m. And then we were discussing if we had lower morals that we, <laughs> that we would scam old people out of money. Which, because Ted says it's so easy. And that's a quote. <laughs> <laughs> we, I'm so glad you two use your powers for good. We said, that's the thing, we said that our morality keeps us from doing it. But I mean, if one just it all it takes is one electrocution with to switch your brain chemistry or I don't know, some sort of uh episode or uh, you know. Where are you going with this? That, to do what? To, to, to switch your morals? Yeah, to bring to to do crime for evil. Instead of messing with old people, they mess with their students. I think it's probably good we have no power. Yeah, I think that's probably true. I don't know. Yeah. I should not be. Nobody should put me in power for anything. So this is, a, I'm going to say that's roughly a quarter cup of dice. Is that what you're going to say? It's finely diced. What's in that right now? Let's recap. Corn. Cucumbers. Onions. Are you bleeding? Where? You're on your index. Yeah. No, that's from the that's it's from, oh, from, it's wow. the it's from the onion. Very perfect. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, we need a quarter cup of fresh basil leaves, which I pulled off the plant not two hours ago. And I've got some cilantro. I, I couldn't get cilantro to to grow. Is Why? It, do you it's think it's? Wet? I think it's too Dry? hot. I think it's too hot here. Too hot uh-huh. outside. You were trying to grow. Yeah, I'm, I might. I know it's too dry inside. What just happened? Did you see that poltergeist push that thing off the counter? What is it? It was the strainer that I used earlier. Oh. So. You don't need to grow most more soap leaves. Oh, so you're one of those folks. Oh. Uh, like it. Well, you know what? I Whatever. It's a thing. It is a thing. It's a genetic thing. So, some people would say either. I mean. Cocktail is quite delightful, especially after it waters down a little. Which I gotta tell you, that's, I do love a bourbon that's been sitting in ice for just a teeny tiny bit. It is delightful. Oh, speaking of, are you gonna keep all of those big ice cube things? I can't remember why we purchased so many of the squares. Well, I can tell you why. Is because for my 45th birthday, we had a lot of people over here, and then we got incredibly drunk and forgot all about it. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it is. So. <laughs> I don't remember that word. <laughs> a lot, a lot of people don't. You're kidding. So was that here? Yes. Was that last year? No. Two years ago? How old are you? I'll be. Yeah, I'll be forty. Oh, that's right. I'll be forty-six this year. Right. No, will I be forty-six or forty-seven? Crazy. I'll be forty-six. Oh God, you were so on the camera. Yeah, we saw you. Probably the DEA is going to come bust down their door now. I'm divergent. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> That's like a, so that, I did it like a quarter cup of both parsley, or not parsley, cilantro and um, the, what's the other one, honey? Basil. So we want to, you know, it's, this is good. I like salads. I was trying, I, I read a whole thing about how you should make a salad. It's layered, you should blah, 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 blah. What elements you could put in it? The problem is, is that I, I'm not good at making salads. Really, sometimes I get it. What I get lucky, but otherwise, not really. Gefilte fish. Ugh. I'll have to talk to Ted about gefilte fish. Is that a Wisconsin thing? I mean, it's a Norwegian like. Those no, there does the Germans are. That's where they're from. They're don't worry about it. Dutch. Do you guys eat the, your pickled herring? Pickled herring. herring. Ah, yeah. Papa Jimmy fish. What does it taste like? Is it fishy? Is it salty? Oily? It's packed in salt normally, right? And I don't know. I, don't know. I think We're so. Find out. 
<laughs> Beefy. <laughs> you can't. You can't j- do that. <laughs> when I look at the chat to see what's going on, it and just it just Jew. it just says Jew. <laughs> that is not. The, I mean, come on now. I mean, yes. <laughs> Great, fine, but <laughs> I need to know more about the lunch. Yeah. I mean, wondering how this salad would do in a tostada bowl. Oh yeah, I think it would do amazing. You, if you did some like chicken with a little like oh, carnitas, man, that would be good. Yeah. So I'm cutting up my little guy with this hair. Next episode. So we've been banned. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no. The next episode is me sitting in a chair, looking at the screen, point blank. We'll have a new name. And, no, it will say. <laughs> An apology, and it will be me <laughs> talking about being insensitive, apparently, uh, by just reading the chat. So, yeah, exactly. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I've made you know that is not who we are here at Side Dish Production or uh, Ben Booking Productions. We love all people, but the thing that's funny about that is like <laughs> what she's talking about. Oh my gosh. Epic Upcycling has a new video. What? Oh my God! First of all, we love to promote other things, other people on this uh, uh, channel. But this is channel. You should, if you like, like watching people make things, go watch Epic Upcycling. That's his channel. He's from Great Britain, and he takes like just things he finds. He breaks them down. He then makes them into some very, very beautiful things. Except for that table that he made that. It, it just wasn't our style, well, but it was still Ted, done I, well. Ted looked at it last night and was like, I do not like that. You guys watched it? <laughs> we didn't watch that one, but we watched that. We just looked at the, we looked at the uh, channel. It says Gefelta Fitch can lean to the sweet or savory side. It's, it's made with sugar. What? It says it's made with sugar. Traditional accompaniment of horseradish. Okay, I'm down with horseradish. What? You can't cook things with sugar. Yeah, I mean, it's true. That's not me. <laughs> Listen, what I please, please do not just clip on Twitch me just saying Jew. Please don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> my my uh, whole rest of my you know online presence depends on you, Deefy. It stands for stuffed fish. You felt the fish grinding up deboned fish. Usually carp, whitefish, mullet, and pike. Nothing good. Mullet. And adding filler ingredients like breadcrumbs, eggs, and vegetable scraps. And then traditionally stuffed back into the skin. This sounds terrible. <laughs> Why well, would you eat this? Well, it's a whole people's like cultural thing. Are you, Blue, or what, are you, what are you doing down there? Do, does anybody actually like it, or it's just a thing you do because it's you tradi- do it? Tradition. Yes. That, that probably is something I shouldn't have done. <laughs> but now, you're getting now I'm getting a letter. All right, so that's about, the, it looked like like a pint. That It says, literally, this is a pint of cherry tomatoes. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking at the internet. Yeah. At the internet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I need what juice of one lime, which I have right here. What are you two scheming over there? I got, I got, I got two people over here. Two, Carlia and Ted are over here scheming. What are you looking for? I don't know what it is, but and I got uh, Woody's licking my feet. I'm living the dream right now, there, everybody. Are you looking for salt and pepper? Right here. It's all right there. All right. So I'm just gonna. This is really kind of the only. But I would call, oh, there's some, a little bit of olive oil. It's like a juice of a lime and only two tablespoons of olive oil. So it's very, like, little kind there's of... There's no stuffy back into the skin of whatever that was. <laughs> it's a bunch of fish all grabbed up and turned into an oval sponge-looking thing. You're not selling... I'm very aware of looks very unappetizing. You're not, not looking at pictures of it. You're, you're not great. selling it, DP, by saying... <laughs> Okay. okay, this is mashing up white fish mix with onions, eggs, salt, and matzo meal. Matzo meal? Matzo meal. 
I don't like muscle balls either, so I don't think this is going to be mm. something that I like. You have to be brought up on it, yeah. It is very fishy. No, thank you, Ben. Amy does not. You'll eat that, but not anchovies in your salad. That yeah, that's sense. weird. It's okay, that's weird. Like that's weird. It's inconsistent. It's okay, inconsistent. yes. Oh, there we go. We are. I mean, just... <laughs> I like this. there's no stuffing back into the skin. <laughs> Stop reading the internet. The internet lies. If you look on Nerds Map World, you'll see a bitch and a crime. Did you? I'll have to, did you make the Gefilte fish on there or what? Anyways, that is great. Um, uh, see, that is why we have the segment food fight. Yes, yes, I did. Yes. So. <laughs> so this went from. Ancho- I like it. Yeah, this that's is what- very organic, going from anchovy on Caesar to gavel to fish, yeah. which I've never had. Before. This is why we like. I think so. If you're going to have it in um, northern Nevada, where we need to find a deli, yeah, probably. I think yeah, that you would find a, a Jewish. Deli. Do they have it at Grossman's? Probably. I think so. Matter of fact, yeah. And now, uh, cue giggling. I tossed the salad. That's not funny. Yeah. It is funny. Oh, I okay, first there's two things. <laughs> the smell coming off of here is like good a, like a really good like combination of flavors. So again, you would not <laughs> DP, you wouldn't like this. <laughs> I had to make sure Ted didn't That was up. a hint on what was the game we were playing? What was that game? It's the game where you like you have to make people guess the word or the phrase, but you can't catch say phrase. catch phrase. Yeah. And <laughs> who said no, 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 you Kelly, can't? Kelly yelled out, "It's when you lick somebody's boop boop." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> Change the stream tile. <laughs> no, please no. <laughs> uh, that's great. Um, so. What do we do now? Uh, you could add avocado to this if you wanted to. Please you could. Don't. You could also add like uh, you could add like feta cheese. That would be good. Or uh, well, let's just try it. No, that's what I'm saying. But at this point, what we want to do is we actually we actually want to. I don't have a microphone. Oh, sorry. We actually want to try it before we salt and pepper it if we need to. So let's get a tomato. Let's get some corn. Make sure we got some it onion. Looks good. And herbs. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's good. Does it need salt and pepper? Yes, but sixty-four thousand dollars pyramid. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh my gosh! So many people have died in the last two weeks. Oh my god! Let's talk about that. Jimmy Buffett died today. That's sad. Sad. Seventy-six years old. Aren't you glad we got to see him in concert? I did. We also got to see Prince and Tots, and then he died. I'm going to tell you. YouTube maybe we shouldn't go to any concert anymore. Well, we saw Jimmy Buffett several years ago. We also saw Prince several years ago. <laughs> so. Um, and Bob Barker, right? Yeah. The joke is online that he's really good at Price is Right because he got closest to 100 without going over. <laughs> That's a jerk joke. I don't like it. Caroline, what's your dad do with the salt? It's outside. Can you grab it for me? Uh, yeah. Bob Barker was just a good dude. Don't forget to spay and neuter your cats, by the way. So. I think. Yeah, that's sad. If you were to get. Um, Jimmy Buffett died. Yeah, that's, I mean, I didn't hear of him being sick or anything, so I mean, people die suddenly all the time, but. That's exactly what Andrea typed me. She's like, I didn't even know he was sick, as if we're like best friends with him, and we would know that information. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Oh, too much. Now what is it? Doug oversalts everything, everybody. Yeah, and guess what? What does the taste cook? Like, good. Right. <laughs> So I would say I uh, You went to some estate sales today. What did you find? 
Well, we found a bunch of card. We started talking about that, and then I went off on a tangent. But oh, they couldn't hear us. So yeah, we went to the state sales this morning, and we found I found a push broom. Well, we first of all we went to this um, the state sale of a guy who was doing it because his brother died, right? No, his brother went into the VA hospital. Ah, but he and he wasn't really into it. Did you spit that into the salad? No, it's right here. Okay. Because we saw that. Yeah, of course you did. See, it's right here. <laughs> Can I have a taste of the salad? Mm, we're not quite ready for that yet. Oh. I've got to taste it so that you can have the best bite. Would well, you add avocado to that salad? I would have it on the side. Okay. I think it doesn't need it. I mean, you could. it would add a nice fatty. And it doesn't hold. So uh, Avocado? Yeah. Yeah. So I would make the salad like this. Again, you know, this salad is going to benefit from time. Oh, yeah. It really will. But, like, what we got at the estate sale, I bought, we went to this guy's house. He was definitely not into it. But Denise got a few things. Uh, I found some vintage ski gloves um, and dice. The, his brother uh, worked at a, and decks of uh, a lot of the casinos here in town. And so he had... Boxes of of ice and dice and and all kinds of stuff. Some of which are vintage, or, or old, definitely these are pretty awesome. Older, and so like you've got the sort of that's this is the Carson City Nugget. It's Nevada's oh, yeah. fun and capital, and which I would argue is false, but <laughs> and these these are cool. Yeah, but. You know, they're like classic so. You know, they're just hard. But. Yeah, but they're nice. I mean, I... I, I, I really like the dice because the dice, like, were, you know, they're casino dice. So they're they're not rounded. They're sharp corners, and they're, um, you know... No, show them. I think the red will show better on camera. Oh, well. Oh, no, it's all glary. Maybe tilt them towards each other. There you go. Oh, they're cool. Yeah. So. And then also some sort of mineral that we can't identify. <laughs> and a, it's about mercury. We know. We basically so. just bought a box and it had cards and dice and some other stuff in it. But the 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 great part was we paid twenty dollars for like a bunch of stuff, and I got like a really kind of nice push broom, which I was gonna buy, and that probably on its own would have cost me twenty bucks or more. So. Well, there you go. Anyways, where are we at? We're, I mean, literally, I owe you some time, but I'm going to drink this cocktail, and then we're going to eat this, and then we're going to have Oh, you dinner. also got that coin. Where's that coin? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Amy needs to have some of this. I forgot. I forgot about that part, everybody. No, it wasn't the case. Where's the little coin, Carlotta? Is it so sitting there? Here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Thank you. I know. I'm sorry. It's weird. Yeah. It's a cute little dish, but it's giant spoon. <laughs> I don't normally eat with a giant spoon like that. Mm. It's not in her head. Uh oh. It's not my kind of thing. It basically is just a bunch of vegetables mixed together. I mean, you could add a little bit more. And a fruit. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Well, um, it's okay. I don't hate it. You could put more lemon juice and, and or lime juice and 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 have a bit more dressing on it. I mean, that's something you could do. But I'm just saying, I think it's good. I think it would be better with fresh tomatoes from a garden, not from the store. But we live with what we have. I think it needs some bacon and jalapeno. Yeah, bacon. Oh, man, that's a good... Jalapeno. A jalapeno would give it a little... I got bacon one. Bacon would give it a little umami. Yeah. Even just bacon bits. Yeah. All right. Well, add bacon bits. Um, you might be able to get some of that umami if you add... Some creamy, yeah. Some creamy fattiness from the... Maybe you could just put, like, a dollop of sour cream in there and mix it around for some umami. No? You hate it? Mayonnaise? I would add more vinegar. Oh, well, it didn't have any vinegar. Maybe oh, some vinegar. Yeah. 
Get out. Yeah, I'm get out. Miracle Whip is the devil. We've been over this. Miracle Whip is essentially mayonnaise plus vinegar and a little bit of sugar. No, it isn't. It's, it's gross. Um, uh, yeah, you could add hot sauce to it. I mean, I think you can... What I would do is leave it as it is and then add... Oh, maybe some of that Tabasco sauce would also give it a little kick. Yeah. And DG says Miracle Whip is man with love, and I agree. Yeah, well, you guys could be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways... All right, what we do? <clears throat> Some sriracha mayo in there. Sriracha mayo might work, but I, even just adding sriracha to it. Which, it's good. It's a fresh tasting. That's sauce. what I like about it. I think it's just fresh. And, and then you light. can add other things. And it's we're having versatile. You know, we're having meat. So I think it's a good counterbalance with meat that we're going to have. Okay, yeah. I would, if I, I think a, a little finely chopped jalapeno. Mm hmm. Well, I have a whole lot of them, so I can I can do that and add it in there. So I think a little, yeah, because it gives a little, give a little kick. But all right, so I'll update um, wherever this week to figure out if I'm gonna be get out of the the thing or not. But I'm gonna probably just plan to be like do it Friday night. I'm thinking, or the Wednesday. Because what's happening? Uh, next weekend is uh, the Nevada Esports big right, welcome, right, right, right. Wel welcome week LAN event, which I want to be there just to support them and kind of um, I'm, do I'm trying to be much more of a mentor to this group um, and offer as much as I can. So we've got a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, I'll have to, I didn't post it this time, but go back to last episode. You can go to that extra life link. And if you want to donate money to me, that's awesome. I may, I might on Monday. That's what I'll do on Monday. I'm going to stream and you can watch me play uh, something until uh, you give me money. Um, what, okay. what are you going to do? What am I going to do on Monday? Yeah. Go to bed. Oh, okay. Well, uh, on that note, we love you. Oh, like Monday the holiday? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to craft. What Monday did you think I was talking about? I forgot that it was a holiday. Okay, I'm very, I'm very confused. I'll tell you that Monday night. Ah, Papa Dean Sneaky. The Chosadable from my Mexican place is like a phyllo shell squirted with lime beans on the bottom. Lettuce, pico de gallo. Oh, that's delicious. Yes, with Miracle Whip. Last time, I'm surprised you even mentioned. You know what, Paige? We like to soak the kids. Again, so I, <laughs> I, I, I do want to go back. Like, if you have, if you have things like that, this is a good, good crowd for it. So, like, DP Ping, if you have things that are again controversial opinions on food, we will send it to me either through Discord, through a private DM, or, um, or side dish cooking at gmail.com and we'll feature it on the show. We want to, we want to feature what you think and we'll, we will make a decision. We will live discuss a food fight. So, uh, we love you very much. Thank you for, you know, being here. Ketchup on green yeah. beans. Okay. We'll get to that next week. Ketchup on everything. Yeah. Why? Well, that is actually one of the food fights that we'll bring Ew, up next time. Our eggs gross. Stop it. All right. Ketchup. Next time on Side Dish, who knows? We'll do something fun. Uh, okay. But we love you. Drink one of these drinks. Make this salad. And remember to be kind, to be loyal. Do something nice for somebody next week. We love you very much. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next week. Hooray. Perfect. Hooray.